Welcome everyone. My name is Joanna Portella. I'll be your host today for the World of Fire webinar. This is the first of a series of three webinars. I would like to first start with you with some rules. Everyone is muted. So if you have questions or comments during the session, you can put them on the Q&A session on the right or on the chat window. When you send your comment or question through the chat, please select to send it to the all panelists. Um, if you experience some audio issues during the webinar, you can also try to, to call in by, via the dial-in numbers. You can find them on the email confirmation you received. You, we, we've also posted those numbers on the chat window. Uh, and the questions that you answer uh, that you asked during this webinar, we will be answering them in the end of the session. And with that, let's start. Greg. Uh, good morning. My name is Greg Chumley. I'm uh, president of Chamonco Inc. and Printelligence.org, and I'm joined this morning with uh, by Giselle Delamornier from EFI. Now, <clears throat> I don't work for EFI. I'm an independent printing industry analyst, and I've worked in this industry for nearly 40 years. One of my company's services is to review workflow solutions to advise companies on their competitive strengths and areas for improvement. I reviewed Fiery Freeform Create last August and found it to have a unique and useful place in the VDP segment, which is near and dear to me. You see, I spent several years as the director of PODI's workflow practice. Now, PODI was an association largely focused on helping printers provide relevant direct marketing applications to their customers. Many customers struggle to add these higher margin applications, and I think that Fiery Freeform Create could play a key role in helping them succeed. Giselle, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi, everyone. My name is Giselle Dallamornier, and I'm a product marketing manager at EFI. One of my focus areas is our fiery solutions for VDP and personalization. Thanks, Giselle. Here's what we're going to cover today. We'll talk about the challenging business climate and how you, as a trusted partner to your customers, can help them promote their capabilities now and to prepare for their grand reopenings. We'll show you how to use EFI's free personalization software, Fiery Freeform Create, to do that, including some live demos. Then we'll show you all the different resources EFI has to offer, including free templates that you can use with your customers. Here's the thing. Everyone knows that targeted personalized direct marketing is more effective than generic advertising. Think about which mail you look at and which you immediately recycle. Every single successful direct marketing communication has three key elements prioritized in this order. First, it must get your attention. Does the quality, design, and graphics stand out? Does it personally appeal to you? Second, it must have a meaningful offer. Is it valuable to you? Is it something you want right now? And third, it must have a call to action. Like, when will you be open? How do I get this offer? Every one of you knows that this is true. And every one of you knows that your customers are more interested in results than in the cost per mailing. Successfully getting a couple to spend uh, 100 bucks on a dinner or 30 bucks on a haircut is much more important than how many cents each postcard cost. The two challenges probably holding you back have always been finding a killer app which is easily understandable and repeatable across many customers so that you don't have to spend a lot of time designing and selling each case, and having affordable tools that are easy enough to use so you can make it happen. Well, ladies and gentlemen, the temporary shuttering of retail, hospitality, and services businesses around the world has created an incredible opportunity for you. Right now, the survival of many businesses depends on their ability to pivot and adapt to these challenging stay-at-home times. For example, a restaurant forced to only focus on delivery and takeout. Soon, those businesses will be reopening their doors and clamoring to notify and track, attract customers that they are open. Everyone will be trying to stand out and to get the attention. Their customers want to get out of their houses and nobody will know the details until the very last minute. So 
This crisis has created a perfect storm of opportunity for you, even if you don't have campaign management or specialized VDP software, because everyone with a relatively current Fiery server can use EFI's Freeform Create software to create and print personalized materials from static PDF files for free. So, would you please start by explaining Fiery Freeform Create? Sure. Fiery Freeform Create is a free, standalone variable data application. You can add personalization, variable text, images, and barcodes to files right in the application with no additional VDP software needed. All you need is a master PDF and a data source or an Excel document. And you could submit files right to the Fiery server for production. It's not only a great tool for print service providers and implants, but it's a great tool for designers as well, which makes it even more unique. So what are the advantages of using Freeform Create over mail merge applications such as Word or InDesign? First, you get the benefit of only having to rip the static content once. When you output a mail merge from Word or InDesign, you get a big PDF with the static content repeated over and over. Freeform Create leverages fiery server capabilities to make file processing more efficient. Next, you can easily add personalization to existing PDFs so you can add more value to existing files you receive or design new files with personalization in mind. It's entirely up to you. With Freeform Create, variable images don't have to be scary. All you need is the images you want to use and a spreadsheet, and that's it. I'll show you how it works later in this presentation. Adding different types of variable barcodes to documents used to only be possible with paid VDP software or paid plugins for InDesign. Freeform Create includes over 150 barcode types natively in the application, so chances are that the barcode type that you need is probably already there. If you've got a Fiery server, you can submit jobs to print right from the Freeform Create application and use tools like server presets and make ready applications like Fiery Impose or Jobmaster, so it's fully integrated into your existing workflow. We've even talked to some customers who've said that Freeform Create can even replace their paid VDP software since it can handle about 80% of a typical print service provider's variable data needs. Finally, one of the best parts of Freeform Create is that you don't need to be connected to a Fiery server to use it, which sounds surprising to you, right? But it's a really unique feature of the application that we'll explain in just a minute. So there's two different groups that can use Freeform Create. The first we'll talk about today are print service providers and implants. You can design this file in-house using Freeform Create or your design application, just like any other file you would create for a customer, or you can add personalization to an existing file that your customer has provided. Then you can print it on your fiery driven printer. The other group is designers, marketers, and other creatives. Since access to a Fiery server is not required to create a file in Freeform Create, anyone can use it to create their personalized file. So any designer that provides print-ready files to a print service provider can now provide them a Freeform Create file. The print service provider then opens it in Freeform Create in their shop and send it to print on their Fiery-driven printer. This also applies to situations like implants who get files from multiple departments in their organizations and even customers who provide print service providers with print ready artwork. It's a great way to empower these groups to be more involved in the design of personalized materials. To create a customer campaign with Freeform Create, you only need four things. First, you need the goal for your customer's campaign. What is the result that they want to achieve? Next, you need a PDF with the static content. You can add personalization to an existing PDF, or you can design something new. Next, you need a data source, which can be any Excel document or database that contains the variable information in your piece, text, images, and barcodes. And finally, if you're a print service provider or an implant, you need a fiery driven printer to produce your personalized piece. Thanks, Giselle. I don't know about what our audience thinks, but to me, that's a pretty impressive set of capabilities to get for free. However, price and capabilities aren't everything. Everyday people like us need to be able to use it without a lot of training. Do you think you could show an example? Let's say we have a restaurant wanting to send out a customer mailing about new curbside or delivery services, or perhaps one about when they're ready to open. Can you show us how to do that? 
Here's an example of a postcard for a restaurant that wants to promote their curbside takeout and delivery options, as well as the hot new menu item in some areas, drinks to go. This postcard could be existing artwork that was provided to you by the restaurant, or you could have designed it from scratch. This example is a Mexican restaurant, but you could easily tweak the concept and format for any type of restaurant. We're going to personalize the front promo, the address block, and we'll add a USPS intelligent mail barcode. And I apologize in advance if you find yourself craving fajitas afterwards. So to get started, I first need my master. You can see my PDF here, which I created using uh, Adobe InDesign. And here's my data source, which is a simple Excel document that contains all the variable information I want to use. I'm going to use a barcode and I've added this vertical line in the column header. This is called an accelerator and it indicates to Freeform Create that this column should be classified as a barcode. In Freeform Create, I select variable data document from the create menu, then I navigate to my master. And then I navigate to my data source. Here you see that Freeform Create uh, sees all of our variable fields in the data source and has classified them correctly, including the barcode. Then I just select Create to get started. Now you see that my master is already loaded and you see all of my available variable fields in the left-hand panel. From here, it's just dragging and dropping my variable fields. So I'm gonna personalize the promo statement on the front of my postcard. So I'll just drag the first name field over Change the font size to Gotham medium, size 18. And I will change the color to white. So you've got a few options for colors. You can use the color picker. You can manually choose the values that you want to use, or you can use a spot color that's built into Freeform Create or upload your own spot colors. I'm using uh, just plain white, which I already ate, and I saved it as a preset color. Just move that over here, extend my text box a little bit. Next, I'll add my front promo field and I'll stack it with the first name field. Stacking simply means adding multiple variable text fields into the same box. There's a lot of advantages to this method in terms of formatting and displaying the fields, which I'll show you a few of shortly. One more edit here, I'm gonna add a comma as a custom text field. And now we'll move to the back of the postcard. So you could preview then if you wanted, uh, but I'm going to wait until all of the fields have been added. So on the back, we're going to add the address block. So again, I'm just dragging and dropping, and I'll change the color here to black and the size to a So Freeform Create remembers the properties of the last text field that you added. So if you you once you change it here, this will be what it is for the rest of uh, the time that you're in the application. So again, I'll just start dragging and dropping my fields. I'm stacking all of the fields in my address block. City. Now I'll just get rid of the leading space on each line here, and I will add here. And so I finally will add my barcode, and like with all of my other variable fields, I'm simply just going to drag it over, and I will just change the type to USPS Intelligent Mail. Drag it where I want. So one note here, you see all the green dots by the fields that indicate they're being used on the current page. This is a new feature in Freeform Create 1.1, the most recent version that just came out. One other new feature in Freeform Create 1.1 is the ability to adjust the line spacing and stack variable text blocks here. So I'll just change this here from 1.2 to 1.0, which just kind of snugs, snugs things up a little bit. So now we are ready to preview. So now we'll go back to the front of the postcard and see how things look. You can see the personalized name on the front looks good. I could go back and change the line height if I wanted to, but for the purposes of this demo, I think we will keep going. 
And I'll just go and make this a little bit bigger here uh, so we can make sure to see everything. And now we'll go to the back of the postcard. Uh, my address block and my barcode also look good. Um, so another new feature in Freeform Create 1.1 is the ability to collapse empty text fields. In the current entry for Sabrina, there's a unit number in the address to field, but you know not every record is going to have that. So when I go to Eric's record here, and when it loads, you can see that there's no address to information and Freeform Create has hidden that field completely rather than leave a blank space. You can also filter by all the variable, available variable field types uh, to customize your view. And within each one of those fields, you can also filter by the longest and shortest uh, record. So you can choose what you see here. So Greg, how, how easy did, was that? Well, that was pretty impressive. I mean, you took a static file and personalized it in what, maybe five minutes or so? Um, all done in real real time. And you did get me salivating. But uh, to be perfectly honest, the first thing I should do before I go out is to get a haircut. Can you show us another example of maybe how to do one for a salon? Now, bear in mind that I'm a guy and will want a guy haircut. Sure, so this postcard is for a salon and it includes personalized content depending on if the recipient is male or female. And in this example, we're gonna use variable images in addition to variable text and a barcode that we used before. So here's my master, which I created using Microsoft Word this time. Uh, you'll see there's lots of white space. We're going to have a variable hero image in text on the front and variable images, the address block, and a barcode on the back. Here's my data source. It's pretty similar to the one that we used for the restaurant postcard, but you will notice some differences. So we're changing up the promo and the images based on whether the recipients are male or female. So you'll notice different promo contents on lines that have Mr. and Ms. salutations. So when I prepared my data source, I used a simple filter by salutation, and then I used the fill down command in Excel to add everything. So pretty easy Excel work uh, to help create this personalized data source here. And so here you'll see our columns for variable images, and we're using three different variable images. And remember, I said before that using variable images is as simple as entering the file names in a spreadsheet, and it is, but there's a couple of important things that you need to know. I'm using another accelerator in this column header, the tilde slash. You see tilde slash images in brackets. This refers to the images folder where all the specific images in these columns are located. And when I show my file structure, you also see that the images folder is at the same level as my data source. And that part is very important. And then when I go back to the data source, you see that front hero, back stylist, and back collage will show for the variable image in freeform create. And when you look at the individual images, you see that there's a tilde slash in front of each file name. This means that these images are located inside the images folder referenced above. And then when I open my images folder and look at the images, you see that these file names match what I've got inside my data source. So in Freeform Create, we once again select variable data document and we select our master. and we select our data source. And here again, by using the accelerators in our data source, Freeform Create has correctly classified the types of variable objects. See our text, you see our barcode, and you see that images have been classified correctly. So we see again, our master has been loaded and all of our available variable object types are listed here in the left panel. So first we're gonna add our first name field, just drag it to where it needs to go. Adjust the text box, we're gonna change it to Gotham. Again, uh, medium, size 24. 
just change the alignment a little bit and move it up and then change the uh, text align uh, to center. And so now we're going to add some custom text here. We're going to add high face and then an exclamation point. And we'll add our front promo. So we'll just change the font size here to 16. So we'll just do a quick center align and make sure the edges of this text box align with the static text above. And we will align the two variable blocks here together to make sure that they line up. So that is good for the front of the postcard. So now we will move to the back. And again, we're going to add our address block. So almost exactly like we did uh, for the previous postcard that we did. And we'll just change the font size here to 11. Make our box a little bit smaller. And again, we're just dragging and dropping. Same address block as before. Again, you see the green dots appearing as I am using uh, the different fields here. And again, we'll just go back, uh, add a comma, and then get rid of our leading space lines. And I'll go ahead again. I will just adjust the line height to one. There we go. And I will add my barcode. So again, same as before, USPS Intelligent Mail change it to that's the right type I want, and then position the barcode. Go. So now we're gonna start adding our variable images. And just like everything else we've been adding to our postcard, it's drag and drop. So I'm gonna start with this back stylist image. We're gonna start on the back here because we're already here. And I just drag the corner image to resize to the desired size. So as long as fit is selected as proportional, we'll resize uh, proportionally, which is 99% of the time what you want. Um, and then I will add my other uh, image on the back, this back collage, and again, uh, drag it to where I want it to be. I want the two images to be the same width here, and that actually looks pretty good. But I'll do a quick uh, align left. It's pretty good, pretty good alignment on the first try. So that's the back of the postcard. Now we'll go to the front, and I'm going to add my front hero image. And again, same, uh, same thing, just resizing and placing it where I want it to go. That looks pretty good. All right, so now we are ready to preview our postcard. So looking at this first record we chose, this is a male recipient. So we've got the uh, targeted hero image on the front, the first name and the targeted promo copy that we input in our spreadsheet and we go to the back. Again, we've got the two images are uh, focused for a male. We've got the address book, the address block, and we've got our barcode. So then we flip to a female recipient. You see that again on the back, our images have changed. We once again have the address block and the barcode. And then when we go back to the front, you see that our hero image has also changed. So that's how easy it is to make a variable postcard using images. So Greg, I think with Freeform Create, we can, we, can get your, we can get your haircut taken care of. I appreciate it, much needed. Uh, those are some pretty sweet applications, which I think just about everyone can understand and see how to sell. And one of the things I wanna underscore that just blows my mind is that you still created this, the basic uh, backgrounds or things using Microsoft Word. And then she just took the mailing list in in Microsoft Excel or CSV file or whatever. And all these images, they're just stored in a directory. They're just, you know, some stock photographs in a directory. And all you do is put the name of the file in the right place in, the, in this Excel spreadsheet and it's done. So pretty much anyone could do this. So it's easy to do in that. But the real next question is, what does it take to make this happen? Um, how do you how do you get the software? So there's two different ways you can get Freeform Create. The first is through Fiery Software Manager. And if you've already got Fiery Command Workstation, then you already have Fiery Software Manager. And you can simply download and install the application from there. This is the preferred method because it's the easiest way to keep up to date with the latest versions. 
The second way is by downloading the standalone installer. Remember, we mentioned that you don't have to have access to a fiery server to create files in Freeform Create. The standalone installer is perfect for designers and creative professionals who don't have access to a fiery server, as well as anyone else who doesn't use Command Workstation. Now, there are going to be a lot of restaurants, bars, coffee shops, and salons opening up soon. Um, can you do us a favor? Is there a way we could get a hold of these slick templates you just created so we don't have to start from scratch? Definitely. Our free Fiery Freeform kit contains 15 different sample files, including the ones we showed you today. Each file includes the master, data source, images if applicable, Freeform Create file, the native files, InDesign or Word, and a how-to video. Plus, the kit also includes a comprehensive guide with tips and tricks on how to get the most out of Freeform Create. It's linked in the Freeform Create application, and it is also accessible from our website. Don't worry, you'll get this presentation afterwards, which contains the links and all the other ones that we're going to show you. But if you're excited to get started now, you can go to www.efi.com slash freeform kit to download. So what you're saying is I could download the restaurant template, drop in some Shutterstock images and different text into the PDF file to create a mock-up for say a couple of local sushi bars. Then I could do some virtual sales calls, make the sales, drop in their real content and data, and be ready to print and mail as soon as they know their opening date, right? Yeah, absolutely. So it's easy to use our files as a guide to create your own designs. So you or a designer could modify what we've provided or design your own templates using Word or InDesign or your design application of choice as long as it can output to a PDF. And remember, besides your master, all you need is a data source, an Excel doc, or a CSV that contains all your variable information. Most of the images you see in my examples are actually from Shutterstock. Or you could ask your customers to provide their own images. Plus, with Freeform Create, it's easy to change your master or your data source without losing the variable fields that you've mapped. So let me show you a quick example of that. So we're going to go back to our salon postcard here. So let's say that the salon you're working with wanted to repeat this mailing uh, for a different set of customers, but they wanted to change up uh, some of the images just to give it a little bit of a different look. So go back to our postcard um, that we have right here. And um, I all I need to do is change out my data source. To do that, I just go to this little gear up here next to data source and I select change. And then I find the new data that I want to use. So this particular one, all the variable fields I used before are still there. Everything still is called the same thing. But if you had different names in your new spreadsheet, you'd also see those here. So I just click done. I have a different cover image, but I don't actually have to change anything in my file because the field is named exactly the same. So you just see the old image here now, but that will write itself in the preview in just a second. So let's take a look at our preview. So here's our mail focused record and you can see uh, we've got a different image and you can also see when I change to first name, it's also a completely different set of names here. So again, different hero image on the front for this male recipient. And you can see when I go to a female recipient that again, we've got a totally different image here. So all I did to change this out was just put different file names in my data source and load my new data source into my existing file that was already programmed. So this is a great way to use saved files to create VDP templates that can be used over and over again for different purposes and saving you a lot of time. Now, let me take a moment to clarify something you said because it is really important. I think it's pretty clear that you as a printer can download Freeform Create and the templates to create personalized print material for your customers. But what might not be clear is that your customers can also download Freeform Create and the templates for free. That means they can create their own materials even though they don't have a fiery server. That's huge. It means that agencies can use it, corporate marketing departments can use it, and even the mom and pop pizzeria on the corner can use it to create, personalize, and preview, preview their own relevant marketing materials using their own customer mailing lists. 
The only thing your customers can't do is print. For that, they need to send their finished mailing to you, which brings up a good question, Giselle. How do you print Freeform Create files? So there's a couple of different ways to output your files from Freeform Create. The first is to save your file as a .ffp. This is a proprietary file format, and it creates a package of all your master and data source files and the images if you use them in your file. This file can then be opened in Freeform Create to change up the master or the data source, as I just showed you in the previous demo. Or if you're a designer using Freeform Create to design personalized files, this FFP file can then be provided to your print service provider for production. All the print service provider needs to do is open the file in Freeform Create and then submit it to their Fiery server. And speaking of submit to the Fiery server, that's really easy to do right from Freeform Create. You simply select the blue Send to Fiery Server button at the top. The first time you do this, you'll select New, and you'll enter your server IP, your username, and your password. After that, it'll remember your Fiery. And if you've got multiple printers in your shop, you can add them here as well, though I doubt any of you will have a list of servers quite as long as I do. You'll see several options once you do select Send to the Fiery Server. You can choose what you want the Fiery server to do, like go ahead and process and hold the file, or maybe you just want it just to be sent to the held queue. You can also choose to use a server preset here, which is great if you want to apply an imposed template, or maybe define a custom size or media type, or even configure a specialty color. You'll then see the job in the command workstation held queue. Depending on what Fiery server model you have, you'll see this file as either a .ffc or a .ffp, as I'm showing here. One of the great things about Freeform Create is that it's both backwards and forwards compatible. The application works with external or embedded Fiery servers running System 10 or newer software, which is pretty much every Fiery server that's been sold within the last seven or so years. And for the newest Fiery servers that are coming out on our latest software, Fiery FS400 Pro, there's some unique features that those servers can take advantage of in terms of processing performance and in general work with Freeform Create files. Now you can adjust the job properties just like any other job, or you can use Fiery Make Ready software like Fiery Impose or Jobmaster. And if you impose and save the file, you'll see the job saved in the held queue with the .dbp extension, just like any other imposed job. Well, that was easy. I'd like to point out one more freeform create capability that I think is valuable. Sometimes businesses like doctors, offices, dentists, and others don't want to share contact lists, or perhaps they aren't permitted to, to do so. With freeform create, you can design and personalize a Freeform Create FFP file to send to a customer along with an empty spreadsheet. They can then fill in the empty spreadsheet with their data, import it into Freeform Create, and send back a new FFP file. You'll be able to print the file and even scroll through it, but you won't be able to export their data. It's a great way to work with customers who are uncomfortable with sharing their contact lists. So, Greg, I definitely agree with you on this. Uh, this is an aspect of Freeform Create that we've really not talked much about previously, but it's absolutely a great point, and I'm really glad you brought it up. You're welcome, Giselle. Is there anything else you'd like to add before we wrap up and take some questions? So, I just want to take a minute and go through all of the different resources that we have available for you because we have a ton. We talked about the Freeform Kit earlier, but remember, it's a free download package that, can include, that includes templates uh, for example files, how-to videos, and a guide with lots of helpful tips and tricks. On the Freeform Create page on EFI.com, we've provided thorough step-by-step -step videos for all the example applications embedded in the Freeform Create app, along with some bonus apps that are available in the Freeform Kit, including the new ones you saw today. Uh, our quick tip videos are short three minute videos that provide an overview of common features and functions free from create. There's several that we mentioned today, like accelerators, stacking variable text fields and server presets that I'd recommend you watch to learn more about these functions. Keep an eye on this page as we're going to continue to add more videos over time. 
And if you'd like to go in depth about Freeform Create, you can take our free e-learning course on learning at EFI, which should take you a little over an hour to complete in one sitting, or you can move through the different modules at your own pace. We encourage you to join the conversation in EFI communities. The Freeform Create group is quite active and it's a great opportunity to ask questions, get tips, and see what your peers are doing. You'll find us chiming in on many of the conversations as well. EFI communities is free to join and to read posts, but if you'd like to comment or ask a question, registration is required. Our version 1.1 release, the most recent one, was developed as a result of user feedback received through this group. And we've even got a beta group where you can test new releases one to two months before the official launch and provide feedback, which we also did for our 1.1 release. If you're interested, you can find the link to sign up for the beta group in the Freeform Create group on EFI Communities. We have presented four different World of Fiery webinars about different VDP topics in the past. All cover various topics related to VDP, and while none of them cover Freeform Create other than the latest one that we did last fall, because it's a new application, there's still a wealth of good information on VDP. In particular, we encourage you to check out our recipe for VDP, which offers a lot of insight into what's needed to plan a variable data campaign and all of the different stages in the planning process, plus tips on how to format your data and other, uh, and other useful information. And our VDP checklist is a great resource, whether you're using our Freeform Workflow, Freeform Create, or even another VDP tool. This checklist helps ensure that you've got all the right components in place for a successful VDP campaign. And it's great for new to VDP customers or as a refresher for those looking to evolve their VDP offerings. I'll take this one, Giselle. You see, when I review workflow solutions, I also generate publicly accessible product briefings. You can view my Fiery Freeform Create product briefing on printintelligence.org. The briefing contains five three to six minute videos covering different aspects of the solution. There are a few things you should know though. As I said, these are my views, not EFIs. And even though I reviewed the product in August, EFI has already issued a new release, which resolves some of the issues I highlighted. In particular, you can now import new data files to do follow-up mailings without having to resign your, redesign your mailing, and you can resize barcodes. I also want to make a special mention of the fifth video in which you can watch me create my own mailing from scratch using nothing but PowerPoint, Excel, some stock photos, and fiery freeform create. Listen, I am not a designer, and if I can create a dire relevant direct mail piece with customized images and personalized text, well, anyone can. And now I'd like to turn control over to Joanna to close the webinar and to coordinate some questions. Joanna? Thank you, Greg. This has been great. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to let you know that uh, by attending to this webinar, uh, you've already guaranteed a 25% discount on a FIRE cert uh, professional certification which is an e-learning certification prepared by our own FIRE experts for you to develop your skills, enhance your professional development, and transform your print business. And as I mentioned earlier, this is just the first uh, webinar of a series of three. And by attending the other two uh, webinars in the next couple of weeks, you will also guarantee per... I'm not sure. I think, I think we lost, I think we lost Joanna, um, but... What, what she was saying here is that for each World of Fiery webinar you attend, and there's three in our series, you'll get a 25% discount on the Fiery Professional Certification for each one you attend. So if you attend all three webinars that we're holding in May, you will receive a 75% discount on the Fiery Professional Certification, which is a 187.50 US dollar value. Um, and the certification course consists of following elements uh, there's 11 different courses in it and seven simulated software assessments. So it's a great, uh, it's a great course to really have a thorough understanding of how to use your Fiery server. And just a reminder, we mentioned that it's a series of three webinars. So we have two more upcoming web webinars that we hope you join us for. The next one is a week from today, Wednesday, May 13th, and it's business improvement ROI through achievable workflow automation. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to use our job flow based software to automate common uh, workflow tasks to help make your operation more efficient. And the last webinar in the series is on Wednesday, May 20th, and it's called Make the Automation from Pre-Press to Post-Press. And here we'll talk about the integration between uh, Fiery Impose and the Fiery Server between third-party finishing application, uh, third-party finishing equipment from manufacturers like Duplo, Horizon, MBM, and others. Um, and if you haven't registered for these other webinars, you can register at www.efi.com slash WOF. And with that, I think uh, we will take uh, we will take some questions. Does it, can you hear me again? Now I can hear you. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I don't know what Feel happened. Feel free to improve. Feel free to improve on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you. Thank you for that. So, yes. So, please register for upcoming sessions. So, yeah, let's start with the questions. I see we have a bunch of questions here. Oh, good. Um, and if we don't get to your questions, don't worry that we will post a FAQ document and you will receive that together with the recording of the session in a couple of days per email. So um, let's start. I see here, what software do you recommend in terms of generating the address into a barcode? So Hans, I don't know if you're on. Uh, do you want to do you want to take this one? Uh, afternoon, uh, good day, everyone. Uh, sorry, what was the question? I'm looking at <laughs> almost a bazillion questions that came in through the Q and A. Sorry, what was the question, Joanna? It was about uh, what software do you recommend in terms of generating the the address into oh, a barcode? Yes. Uh, so depending on uh, the postal provider. So if you have addressing data and it requires a certain so the, for instance, the USPS uh, intelligent barcode requires the content to be in a certain format. Um, the addressing data can be uh, USPS uh, here in the US uh, has uh, multiple uh, solutions and tools available to take that addressing data and convert it into uh, the content that is required for the uh, intelligent barcode. Uh, FedEx, uh, uh, UPS, etc. Uh, here in the US, but I also know worldwide have similar tools. Very well. Um, and for Excel files, what format does it need to be saved? Uh, Excel, you can save uh, the data. The Excel data source can be a regular Excel. There's no need. We uh, support XSL, XSLT, and CSV. Uh, but there's no need to convert your data to CSV in order to use it in Freeform Create, which is a very nice uh, feature. Um, also, saw another question about that. One of the benefits of using Excel, the benefit of uh, saving uh, the file, uh, the data sources in Excel, is that if you have any formulas in the Excel, for instance, to uh, set the image location or to capitalize uh, a certain content, you can use the formulas. And when you import the data source in Freeform Create, those formulas will be uh, uh, will be supported. Plus, Hans, you can also use like the kind of the Excel macros and formulas too, right? Yes, correct. All right. Does Freeform Create support bar barcode one two eight? Yes. Very good. And is there a version for Canadian Postal Office barcodes? Yeah, we saw a number of questions coming in about that. Uh, I quickly checked the list of supported barcodes, but I can't find a reference specifically to the Canadian intelligent barcode. Uh, so I will need to do some further research, but uh, we will make sure that that information is available um, uh, in the session FAQ that we will make available. Okay. If address two is empty for those data record records, does the software automatically move the last line up or does it leave it an empty line on the printout? With the, the most line up. Yes, with the most recent uh, free from create 1.1, .1, which is the version that you can get now, uh, we hide empty spaces. So it will automatically move the line up to hide Okay. <clears throat> Can you select to change the address block to all caps? 
Um, not so not yet. Um, uh, we will, and there's also some other questions with regards to layout uh, tools. Uh, the team is currently working on Freeform Create version 1.2, which will have significant improvements with regards to formatting and layout and design. So rulers, the ability to snap to a grid, uh, 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 more extensive formatting options for text uh, objects, those will all be made available in version 1.2. And as I've mentioned to a number of people who asked the questions, um, Giselle mentioned how you can uh, join uh, EFI communities and then sign up to be, uh, for the free from PA beta group. Uh, through the beta group, we make early versions of Firebase Free from Create available uh, to gather feedback and to validate that what we've done uh, actually uh, solves your uh, needs. Um, and then, if needed, we can make uh, changes. We've seen that with uh, the development of version 1.1 to be extremely successful and focus on uh, features that will help you, not features we, we think we will help you, but features that we have reported through EFI communities or reaching out directly to me or Giselle. And we encourage you uh, to download the application and submit us your feedback uh, through communities and other ways like Hans says. As I said, we're very responsive and we we'll, might even take your suggestion and put it in a release. So, Or we might uh, ask you to join a call so that we... Yes. Uh, uh... <laughs> we understand your ask more. And can I use languages such as Arabic or Chinese as variable data? You can. Uh, we have seen reports. Uh, there were a number of questions about this. We have seen reports with uh, challenges when it comes to Chinese and Arabic languages. Uh, the team has looked into that. And um, what we need to do is make a short how-to available on how to deal with those uh, languages. Uh, it's not that uh, Free from Create does not support those. It just requires a very specific setup with regards to fonts uh, and how they are selected. But we will also follow up with a short guide uh, on how to do that. So, Joanna, one one thing I see a lot of questions about uh, exporting a PDF out of uh, Free from Create. So yes. right now, uh, there are two ways, as I said, there's two ways to get files from Freeform, get files out of Freeform Create. To save it as an FFP, the Freeform Create proprietary format, or to go ahead and submit it to your Fiery Feature we're working on for our next release is the ability to export a PDF, um, maybe a couple records, maybe a single record or so. We're still figuring this out. Uh, for proofing purposes, because we realize there is a need to be able to do some proofing out of Freeform Create. Uh, but we don't intend to have the ability to export a full PDF out of Freeform Create. But we're looking at ways to help uh, make the proofing process easier. For you. Very good. And I had see another one here. Um, I'm interested to understand if I can stack layers of vector graphic on top of each other. Um, you can uh, stack layers. Uh, the uh, support for vector objects is also uh, coming in version 1.2. So in the next version, you will be able to, in addition to regular images, you will also be able to import uh, vector objects, uh, both as static and variable content. And I'd personally be interested in um, understanding a bit more about the use case yes. uh, for why you would want to stack multiple objects within Freeform Create. So you can reply to the email um, or send us a note in communities, but we'd like to understand more about that. And can this version support line orphaning text wrapping? Yes. Uh, if you uh, have a uh, text, uh, uh, text box with a paragraph and the length of the variable content in that paragraph uh, varies uh, uh job flow or uh, for sorry freeform create will uh uh do the uh, line wrapping uh, to make sure that the uh, uh, line length is uh suitable for that short or long name um so i have another one 
Uh, so freeform work, does freeform work with all versions of fiery systems? Yes, freeform create works with all fiery system 10 and up, which we believe covers most fireys that still are uh, at print shops uh, today. So if you've, if you've bought your server, your fiery server within about the last seven or seven ish years, uh, freeform create is compatible with it. Um, let so me if you're looking at newer Fiery servers, there are some unique capabilities um, available within Freeform Create to Fiery servers, uh, the newest Fiery software, in FS400 Pro. Um, so just something to keep in mind as you're looking, looking towards the future and possibly new Fiery server purchases. Um, and can a QR code also be created for a business card in the software? Yes. Um, let's see another one. Um, can Freeform Create be used to make VDP booklets with subtle stitching finishing? Yes. Yes, you can. Uh, when uh, you uh, create the uh, variable booklet and send it to the Fari, you can use Fari Impose to uh, create the booklet in position and set it to subtle stitch finishing. No problem whatsoever. Um, and can you impose it uh, before putting it on the Fiery or sending to the Fiery? Yes. So do you have a Fiery impose template that you've already created. You can put that impose template within a server preset so that when you send the file to the Fiery server, the impose template is already applied and you don't have to do anything. Once you get it on the Fiery server, you can just do a quick preview and print. Um, if you look at my quick tip on uh, server presets, I actually show a demo of how this works. Um, you do have to have Fiery Impose to do that, uh, but it's a great way uh, to help make that process a little bit more efficient. Okay, and I've had a few questions here about how much does this software cost? Nothing. <laughs> Completely free. Which is Has EFI lost their minds? <laughs> um, let me see if I see there are so many questions because some are repeated. So let me just filter through these. We've got lots mm -hmm. of lots of great. We love all of the questions because uh, that shows you're interested in what we're talking about. So thank you. Do you have alignment tools in Fire Freeform Create? We have uh, both, of, so text alignment within an individual box, so, you know, left center alignment for text. You can also align multiple objects. So you can align multiple text blocks. You can align uh, text and images. You can align barcodes. So we have a couple of different align options in there. Okay. Yeah, I see a question here about the discount on the for the fire professional certification. If it's only for professional or also for expert, yes, it's only for professional certification. Um, I see another one. Why do VD fields uh, fields have a lead leading space? Is this normal? So, it is actually when you saw that I was stacking text blocks, like for example, when I was doing an address block, you see that I was stacking first name and last name. So Freeform Create automatically adds a space in between them for instances like this, because you wouldn't want first name and last name to be smushed together with no space in between them. Um, so the only little downside to that is that, for example, when I was making my address block and I was hitting return and stacking my rest of my address fields, there is a leading space that comes there. So Hans, I'm not sure if there's a way we can make Freeform Create a little bit smarter about that. Uh, but it just for for the moment, uh, when you in that type of situation, you do need to remove that leading space. Freeform Create's trying to be smart, but I realize in some situations you don't always We can definitely look at that. And I can just, the, uh, sorry, go ahead. Yeah, um, I just want to, because we, um, uh, we just got a comment uh, <laughs> uh, about uh, imposing 
the output from Freeform Create. So as we've mentioned, uh, to impose uh, documents, uh, VUP documents, you do require FIRE impose. Uh, first, I would like to say that a number of FIREs come with FIRE impose uh, as a standard feature. So please check your FIRE uh, or please check with your, uh, uh, with your vendor whether you already have a FIRE impose license. Second is that if you do not have imposed, but you do would like to uh, test and see uh, what FIRE Impose can do in combination with Freeform Create, that you can always request a 30-day trial license uh, to, uh, to get started. So something else I'd like to add about Impose is that um, if you're not sure about making the investment into you know, FIRE Impose, um, on, the impo on the Impose page on EFI.com, that's W efi.com slash impose you get our roi ebook and we take you through the financial benefits of what fiery impose can do you know in terms of your workflow because impose it's not only freeform create that there's advantages to there's automation throughout all different types of imposition functions within the fiery server and in our subsequent webinars that we're going to talk about later this month Fiery Impose is also a key part of that um, that you can use to automate uh, tasks with uh, finishing and other workflows. So Fiery Impose is really a key cog in the wheel to make your Fiery server. So it may seem, the investment may seem significant, but I'd sort of like you to encourage you to take a bigger look at how Impose can be used throughout your workflow. And I think it might actually pay off in the long run for you. All right. Um, I have, there are so many questions, so we, we can keep going here. Um, so for proofing, can't the customer open the Freeform Create file from the PSP in the Freeform, uh, in Freeform Create for proofing? Yes, absolutely. Yes. It's not a PDF and it requires to be to the customer to have a Freeform Create, but it is a solution, right? Yes, it's a solution. Um, so another, um, again, if you've already got a Fiery server, and for those of you that ha may have Fiery Image Viewer, um, that's a way to get a PDF of a Freeform Create file um, through exporting a soft proof from Fiery Image Viewer. Okay. And again, as I said, we're looking at some different ways to make soft proofing from uh, free from create a bit easier for you. Very good. Um, so we use HP D4D smart screen, which allows a stacking, scaling, rotation, and randomizing layouts for mass customization. The more options available, the more creative it can be. So that yes. was big. Uh, yeah, I saw that. I saw that question. Uh, I will, we will definitely uh, look at that and, and work with the uh, Fiery and Post team to see what we can do to make those features available. Um, I've asked a number of uh, people who ask questions to reach out to me directly so we can have a uh, follow up uh, to discuss uh, further. Just to note, we haven't formally introduced Hans here, but Hans Sepp, uh, who's been taking a lot of these questions, is the product manager for Freeform Create. So he actually makes a lot of these features we're talking about happen. So he's definitely the. Yes. Thank you, Giselle. And let's just take a last question because I think we, we reached our time. Um, can the program be changed to allow units of measurement for position? for positioning such as millimeters or inches? That is a um, feature that will be in Freeform Create, the next release of Freeform Create. Correct. Very well. So, right, as I, as I mentioned, if we did not get to your question, don't worry, we'll put them in an FAQ document and we'll be sending an email to you in a couple of days with the recording, with all of the resources we mentioned here today. Um, so you can use it and send it to your colleagues at all times. Thank you all for participating. Thank you for the presenters.
Thank you You're everyone for fun. joining us today and for all the great questions. We hope you found it useful. And I hope to see you next week.